Hi guys, uh, thank you again for tuning in. So today I had the pleasure to, uh, I have a pleasure of uh, chatting with uh, D. Wen Henderson. Uh, you know, we I just uh, got up uh, from ch chat room. We chatted for like an hour, and uh, I'm gonna be sharing with you about. Uh, I believe that's about probably like a 12 or 15 minutes of uh, of the video. Uh, the rest was just uh, you know, it's really talking about nothing. <laughs> anyway, so you know, I. I I know it's like I, you know, just want to thank the viewer, uh, the supporter of D Wayne, and and I I I know that uh, you guys want to see an update, so I you know I said you know hey you know, why not you know I'm gonna contact D Wayne again, and without realizing that uh, he was in the Philippines, <laughs> so he said you know I'm in the Philippines but uh, I'm gonna be uh, going back home soon you know so i said you know and he said when i get back you know we, we can chat and he did you know he, he came back a few days so he was still very tired uh, uh from the jet lock as we can imagine you know um it's 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 no fun you know uh traveling uh, from the u.s to the philippines it it's about uh, 24 hours in in d when case he said like 29 hours and uh, yeah so what else uh, so it's a uh, you know it's uh, we're going to share you know what, what's the future uh plan you know um d went still yes he, he said that he's still going to work for like a, a year and a half and then he's going to retire back in the philippines so he's still you know he still loved he still loved the philippines he still loved the philippines and then uh yeah it's a holiday season so we just want to you know uh share the positive side so i hopefully uh you know the commenter you know let's let's keep it positive and then uh the other things is uh the other video like uh you know i already thought about it that i will probably take it down next month you know um uh, we 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 don't wanna you know uh we wanna move on we wanna move on and you know uh let's let's uh bring 2024 more positive we wanna you know uh what do you call that we want a positive energy right we want to share the positive energy so i hope you guys uh, enjoy this uh, update and uh, uh, thank you again for watching uh, let me know you know you comment below and let me know your thought on uh, on the video thank you again for watching take care stay safe and god bless bye bye okay here folks uh, i have uh, d wayne here uh he just came back from the philippines so d wayne how long um you were in the philippines i it was a surprise to me that i didn't know that you were you went back to the philippines yeah i went back for about a month um getting ready <laughs> to look for places for my retirement and getting set up there. Oh, okay. So uh, uh, did you check around? Did you go uh, from uh, provinces to what what uh, places did you went to? Yeah, I went to uh, the island of Negros Oriental and Cebu Island. I focused mm -hmm. my areas in that, that area. And I traveled around to a lot of the, the villages, the communities outside of Dumaguete called Valencia and uh -huh. Dao. Dawan and in that Dawan? yeah that that area of the of Degros Oriental and then uh -huh. on Cebu I went up to uh the Val Carmen and over on the other side to Moal Boal I can't pronounce it correctly <laughs> <laughs> um, now you you said uh, you mentioned you we went to Dabao how do you feel do you feel a uh, uh, when talking about safety, do you feel any uh, concern in in Mindanao? No, I didn't. I felt perfectly fine. Oh. I, I stayed away from the areas that there is considered to be concerns. Uh -huh. I was in the city of Davao, and that was it. Oh, okay, so you just uh, basically in the city. You don't go try to go to the uh, outskirts or anything like that. Yeah, I tried to stay away from any of those areas. It, and Davao is a pretty big big area and it's, it's pretty well developed uh-huh but um it's 
I, I don't I liked it. It was okay, but I, right. I think I, I like Negros Oriental more, uh -huh. and, and Cebu Island more. Right, I I right. In one of those two islands. Oh, okay. Is it is it Dabao? You uh, do you think Dabao is too big for you, or it's more? I think so. I think it, for me personally, because I don't like the real big cities. Uh -huh. me, Cebu City is too big. I couldn't live in Cebu. Gotcha. So I'd have to go out outside of Cebu two or three hours to get away from the big city. Yeah, you just so, you, you hate the traffic. You cannot you know cannot deal with with the traffic. I guess. Yeah, exactly. And also, it, it, when you live in a big city, it's very pollution. You know, the the smoke uh, from the 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 car, the chaos. You know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I, I got I got sick in in Baguio. I don't know. Have you been to if you've been to Baguio? You know, supposed to be uh, a a very nice area, but that's where I got sick because of the yeah. uh, all the smoke. <laughs> yeah, all the yeah, I've been up to Baguio. It's a beautiful place up there, but it's still it's just too crowded for me. It, now it's getting crowded. You know, uh, you know when I when I was still in the Philippines, that's that is where like our getaway. You know, like if if we wanna if we wanna get away from the city, that's where we go to the to Baguio for, you know, for a like couple of days. You know, like a weekend getaway things. Yeah. But now it's just like almost, I I don't even want to go back there. <laughs> it's just, and it's I, not. I found personally on Negros Oriental, uh, once you get north of of Dumaguete, you get to I think it's called Tampi. Then you uh -huh. go up the mountains across the mountains. Right. It's just cool and comfortable there, but less crowded. There's not the crowd that you have in Bogota. Oh, okay. You have the height, the mountains, the pine trees. How, and then, how how did you go there? Did you rent a car or did you rent a bike or something? How how did I, you I was staying with my friend and his wife there in Valencia. Uh -huh. and they, we, we went on a road trip. They took me on a road trip so we could drive around looking at different. Oh, places. okay, okay. So at least you have somebody was uh, you know showing you around. You know, so that's yeah. that. Now, when you uh, let's say uh, when when you go back to the Philippines, when you retire, you know that's what you you have said that uh, you want to retire in the Philippines. Are you planning to uh, like uh, like buy a house or build a house or you know uh, what's My your plan? My goal for the first year, no matter what, whatever I do, my first year, I'm going to rent somewhere first. Uh -huh. So I can make sure, is that really the place I want to be? Just spend the whole year there and just rent a house or rent an apartment for a year. Get to feel the place better. And if that's where I really like to be, then maybe look at buying something. But my, my goal, right, you know, for the first year or so, is going to be I'm going to rent just to check it out. Yeah, I think that's a you know that's a very smart you know uh, this you know decision to do that. And how about transportation? Are you gonna you know uh, buy a car or? Yeah, I'll get a car when I get there. Oh, okay, okay. I was looking at a few vehicles when I was there, and I really like this. The Toyota's got a, a new little vehicle called the Wigo, mm -hmm. W I G O, mm -hmm. and a, you can buy a brand new one for like seven hundred thousand pesos. Seven hundred thousand. That's about uh, maybe uh, what? Sixty thousand. Eleven thousand. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Ooh, expensive. A little that's... bit expensive, but I mean, it's a nice little car. It's a hatchback, so you got mm. plenty of room in it. But yeah. Let Let me ask you though. What What do you What's your thought? Uh, like, uh, I feel like uh, electronic is more expensive in the Philippines than here in in US. Uh, yeah. How about uh, like cars? Would you say it's it's more expensive in the Philippines or or it's the same in here? I would say it's a little more expensive in the Philippines, just based off of what I saw when I was there last month. Uh huh. Uh, the Philippines, the because if if I understand it right, the taxation on a vehicle coming into the Philippines is also based on the size of the engine. Oh, so if you have a, a bigger engine in the car, the tax, the ta import tax to bring it into the Philippines is more. So the price is going to get jacked up. more. Oh, I see. That's why you need the maybe because they try to uh, they don't want a big engine car, you know, because of the gas, you know, 
exactly. they want more uh, efficient car, you know, so they want a smaller car, perhaps, probably, maybe to try to discourage people uh, getting a, you know, big, uh, big car. That's my, my thought as well, mm -hmm. and, and which makes sense, because if, you, if you've been there, you've seen how the driving is, you've seen how congested the roads are. So it, the more vehicles that get there, the worse it's going to get congestion. So you you don't uh, have problem driving. Uh, you you don't see a problem driving in the Philippines. Me personally, no. I mean, uh -huh. I, I do corners that have a problem with it, uh, but I've driven there in the past. Uh, I definitely probably would not want to drive in the in Cebu or Manila just because uh -huh. of the horrendous traffic. Right, man. If you're outside of the cities and you're out in the provincial areas and the back country roads or highways, mm -hmm. I have no problem driving there. It's not that bad. Oh, okay. All right. So that I think that sounds, you know, really, I'm, I'm excited for you because, I, you know, uh, I'm retiring next month <laughs> and then yeah. I'm going I'm yeah. going to go to the Philippines, uh, you know, just a soft landing, I, I guess you can say, you know, for like a four to six weeks. And I'm going to also, I'm going to be like a tourist. I'm going to explore uh, the country, <laughs> going to go. <laughs> to places and then uh, and then hopefully you know I try to learn again my my country before and you know and then I can you know um, maybe I can uh, be uh, you know help the uh, you know the uh, foreigner uh, who are thinking of uh, making Philippines their destination you know in retirement uh, as we all know the inflation the, doesn't matter where you are you know not only here in the US even other country is uh, going up the roof <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, just, it's just it's uh, just you know it's just uh, everybody is hurting right now so anyway yeah so hopefully we I, get all straightened out soon but yeah we don't know <laughs> well let's hope let's hope <laughs> Let's uh, be optimistic, I guess, you know, uh, let's hope that, uh, you know, um, everything will be, you know, uh, will be good. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping so too. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, I, I just want to, you know, share this with my viewer to see, you know, d -Wayne is back and he is uh, <laughs> is ready to crush the Philippine again. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. Yeah. You have a you have a little bit uh, cold. I know. I understand that you have cold. You know, catch from the uh, probably yeah. from from the airline. I guess. Yeah, I think it, from the airlines or just being around all, uh, too many people. <coughs> Excuse me. How 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 many how many flights did you have to take? Uh, you know, uh, coming back here. Uh, one, two, three. Three flights. So I flew from Cebu to Taipei, changed the plane, and then Taipei to Seattle, and changed the plane, then Seattle to San Francisco, and changed the plane. So three different planes. Then San Francisco, and then to Texas. Yeah, to San Antonio. So four. You you have to four times. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no it's, wonder you're tired. Yeah, it's a 29 hour, about 28 hour process to get here. Oh my goodness. I would have to do a three flight, you know, I have to go from either I fly from Florida to JFK or LA and then over there, you know, fly to like Hong Kong or Japan and then to the Philippines. If yeah. I if I go, that's what I have to at least how many flights one from Florida to LA, LA to three flight before I can <laughs> It, it's so crazy, you know, like uh, at least 24 hours on the plane. Yep. I, I remember when uh, last time we were uh, went to the Philippines, when we came back, we were in L.A. My wife and I, we were sleeping for two days. <laughs> oh sleep. Yeah, definitely that jet lag gets to you. Yeah, the time changes. Uh, it's, it's no jokes, you know, it's kind of hard. But uh, anyway. All right. I, I mean, you know, appreciate it. You know, nice, very nice talking to you, D. Wendy. Want to say, you know, uh, any uh, say, say one want to say anything to the viewer? You know, your fans, your you know, follower. You know, no, I'm, I mean, I just say thanks for all the support, and I'm glad to get over there and 
check it out. Make sure I've, I've got everything lined up. So, like I said, in about a year and a half, I'm going to be uh-huh. in them. That's where I'll be living for a while. Maybe, I, you know, by the time, maybe I'm already uh, retired in the Philippines full time. I don't know. Who knows? Right? Yeah. Well, definitely, if you are, then I'll have to look you up when I'm there. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, right. Thank, thank you, Dwayne. All right.